प्लीज लाइक my video and share it with your friends and colleagues please subscribe my channel if you are not already subscribed we will now discuss the solution of a problem from the question paper csir national eligibility test held in the month of july 2024 This question is from the section linear algebra, and this question is related to the concepts of bilinear forms. This question is from the part B, which is a multiple choice question, and it carries three marks. Its question ID is seven zero four zero three one. right we have the given question let a is this 4 by 4 matrix and consider the symmetric bilinear form on r to the power of 4 given by bracket v comma w is equal to v transpose a w for v w belongs to r to the power of 4 here the image of the ordered pair v comma w under the given symmetric bilinear form is to be read as bracket v comma w from now onwards which of the following statements is true we are given four options option 1 a is invertible option 2 there exists non zero vectors v w such that bracket v comma w is zero option 3 bracket u comma v not equal to bracket u comma w for all non zero vectors u v w with v not equal to w option 4 every eigen value of a square is positive let's now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we have the given 4 by 4 matrix capital a and the symmetric bilinear form on r to the power of 4 is defined as bracket v comma w is equal to v transpose a w for v w belongs to r to the power of 4 let's now discuss the options one after the other option 1 a is invertible look at the matrix a in this matrix a there are two rows which are identical in a matrix a if any two rows are identical then the determinant of that matrix is zero so this will imply determinant of a is equal to 0 because the third and fourth rows are identical right if determinant of a is zero then we call it as a singular matrix when it is a singular matrix then it is in not invertible why we have the result a matrix a is non singular if and only if a is invertible because a is singular it is not invertible therefore the option one is not true let's move to the fourth option that will be easier option 4 every eigen value of a square is positive we have determinant of a is equal to 0 then that means it is singular then 0 is an eigen value of a determinant of a is equal to 0 that means 0 is an eigen value of a when determinant of a is 0 0 is one of the eigen values of a if determinant of a is 0 So determinant of a is equal to zero implies zero is an eigen value of a. 
when 0 is an eigenvalue of a, 0 square is equal to 0 is also an eigenvalue of a. Why? If lambda is an eigenvalue of a, then lambda square is also an eigenvalue of a square. Therefore, 0 is an eigenvalue of a square. So, that means every eigenvalue of a square is not positive. One of them is 0. Right. So, therefore, the option 4 is not true. Let us move to the next slide for the further discussion of the remaining options. Option 2. There exist non-zero vectors v comma w such that bracket v comma w is equal to 0. Right. We prove it. Now, we have determinant of a is 0. Therefore, lambda is equal to 0 is an eigenvalue of a. For every eigenvalue, we have the corresponding non-zero eigenvector. So, for lambda is equal to 0, let v not equal to 0 be an eigenvector such that a v is equal to lambda v. So, there exists a non-zero vector v such that a v is equal to lambda v, but lambda is equal to 0. So, a v is 0. So, for this non-zero vector v, let us take the bracket v comma v. Then it will be v transpose a v, but a v is 0, v transpose into 0 vector is 0. So, thus we have the bracket v comma v is 0. So, let us take this w to be equal to v. So, thus there exists non-zero vectors v w, where w is taken to be v itself, such that v comma w is v comma v is 0. So, there exists non-zero vectors v w, such that v comma w is equal to 0, thus option 2 is true. So, and we are on the lookout of that option which is true, we got it. The answer to this question is option 2. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. But our students ask, sir, how do we, you know, say that option 3 is false? That we will do in the next slide. Option 3, bracket u comma v not equal to bracket u comma w for all non-zero vectors, for all non-zero, for all non-zero vectors u v w with v not equal to w. We give a counter example, a generalized counter example. Let u is equal to the column vector 1 0 0, 1 0 0 row vector transposes column vector. V is equal to the column vector V1, V2, V3, V4, W is equal to the column vector W1, W2, W3, W4. Now, bracket U comma V by definition, U transpose AV, U transpose is the row vector 1 0 0 into A, the matrix, into V, the column vector. The row vector 1 0 0 multiplied by the matrix A, will give you 0, 1, 0, 0, that is the row vector, multiplied by the column vector v1, v2, v3, multiply, you will get v2, the second component of v. In a similar fashion, u comma w is u transpose a w, will be the second component of w, that is equal to w2, similarly as above. Agreed. Now, what you do is, take the vectors v and w such that v1 not equal to w1 and thereby v is not equal to w and v2 is equal to w2 to be equal to 1 
and give freedom for v3, v4, w3, w4. Then you will get non-zero vectors v, w. For any v1 not equal to w1, v2 is equal to w2 is equal to 1, we have v is v1 not equal to w1, so v1 taken to be 0, w1 taken to be 1, so v1 not equal to w1, v1, v2 is equal to w2 is equal to 1 and given freedom for v3, v4, w3, w4, column vectors we got. Uh, these are non-zero trivially and they are not equal because they differ in the first place. So we have v not equal to w, v w are non-zero vectors such that the bracket u comma v is the second component of v, the second component of v is 1, bracket u comma w, the second component of w that is w2 that is 1, they are equal, they are equal. So thus there exists non-zero vectors u v w with v not equal to w such that such that bracket u comma b v is equal to bracket u comma w. But in our option it is given not equal but we got equal. There exists non-zero vectors as mentioned here. Thus uh, the option 3 is not true. Well, that's all. That's the argument for no throwing of the option 3. But uh, we have a an alternate uh, argument for denying option 3 that we will provide you in the next slide. Option 3, an alternate argument we are giving. Right. Now from the op option 2, there exist non-zero vectors u comma w such that bracket u comma w is 0. Here we have taken w, we have taken x in the place of w and we reserve w for the future arguments. Right. This is true. This is a true statement. Now choose an arbitrary vector v, a non-zero arbitrary vector v and v such that v not equal to x. You take a arbitrary non-zero vector v and v not equal to the x. Let w is equal to v minus x. That will imply x is equal to v minus w. Note that v not equal to w. Why v not equal to w? Because x x not equal to 0, x non-zero, x not equal to 0 and w not equal to 0 because v not equal to x, v not equal to x. Agreed. So now bracket u comma x is equal to 0 will imply because here it is this is 0 will imply bracket u comma x is v minus w x is v minus w is equal to 0 use the properties of the bilinear forms you will get bracket u comma v minus bracket u comma w is equal to 0 this will imply bracket u comma v is equal to bracket u comma w thus there exists non zero vectors u u is non-zero from option 2, v non-zero by selection, w is non-zero with v not equal to w, yes, v not equal to w such that bracket of u comma v is equal to bracket of u comma w which is against u comma bracket u comma v not equal to bracket u comma w. This is the opposite of this, we got it. 
So this the option three is not true. Summarizing all the options, we have already seen that the answer to this question is option two, and that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the section linear algebra, which is based on the properties of bilinear forms. I am sure that you understood the solution of this problem. You have been watching my videos. If it is so, please like my videos and share them with your friends and colleagues. Please subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed. I wish you all the best. Thank you.